Welcome to Master Traders Weekly Trade Review. I'm Dan Gibby, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you a powerful setup of ours called the Bullish 123 Continuation. But I'm going to show you how the earnings report allowed it to be a higher probability setup. We are technical based traders, everything starts with a compelling pattern. These are nine just simple red and green color coded bullish setups. They apply to all time frames, they apply to all tradable instruments, and this is our starting point. Once we have a compelling pattern, we apply the other concepts that make up our approach, which is such things as okay, where is this pattern in connection with the overall trend, support and resistance? What are multiple time frames telling us? Is it showing relative strength or weakness? What are the broader markets doing? And that sounds like a mouthful, but it's just an instantaneous uh, opinion once you have the proper education and seasoning. This is the chart I'm going to show you on the daily chart that we traded after earnings. Master Trader has many strategies to trade stocks or options into earnings and after earnings. All of our patterns, as I said, are in connection with the overall trend. So that's why I want to start analyzing this particular chart, ZTO on the daily chart, back a couple of weeks. All of our daily charts are this simple. Red and green candlesticks, color-coded volume, and I have the 20, 50, 200 period moving average, which just helps speed up the analysis. We call it a subjective indicator unless it's confirmed by price action. This was in an uptrend, rising 20, 50, 200, had an ugly, ugly fall. Deep, 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 deep fall. This is what we call a price void. When you have a momentum move lower like this, you look to the left and there's insignificant resistance or congestion that once we have a compelling pattern allows for a, a more fluid move up into the price void. So this is a climactic buy setup. Let, let's start down here. Ugly red bar, which means it didn't, re, it didn't retrace very much. Here it got our attention. Why? Because it made a new low and snapped right back with a big bottoming tail. Notice the real body is green, so it closed above the opening price. And we call that the start of a bullish new low reversal. Notice volume is also a secondary criteria for us. If it assists the pattern, we take it. Otherwise, it's not a, a big deal to us. So at the very low of this bar, this was an ugly red bar in a downtrend, suggesting lower prices. So there was a lot, a lot, look at the volume, just dwarfed these other ones. So that means there was a lot of selling, obviously, but guess what? There was a lot of buying also, which drove it to a bullish close on big volume. That is a big footprint of money lurking below around this price. You now have our interest. Would I have bought over the high of this bar? No, because there's no pattern. Remember I said no setup, no action. It broke out. And these dots here are what we call major pivot lows, major pivot highs. And the computer just marks them off. There's nothing proprietary. It just shows pivot low, three higher lows to the left and the right, opposite for a pivot high. So this broke out over this ugly red bar, which is a bullish, bullish sign. Does that mean I buy here? No, there's no setup, but it's definitely on my watch list. We use bar by bar analysis to give us an entry. Red bar, this is what we call a master trader sell setup. That should have continued lower into this little void. What happened next? We have what we call a master trader 180 breakout. We have a big red bar followed immediately by a big engulfing green bar and it was a closing breakout. Notice that the real body closed above the highs of all these bars. Now, here's my price void. Could I have bought over the high of this bar, stop under the low? Yes, that would just be a wide range bar, 180 breakout, closing breakout. But I actually did not even see it until this, and it, was, it had earnings, this particular 
morning that we traded it. So I posted that this is a closed trade. We track all of our open and closed trades in the members area for the respective three advisory letters that we have. The format is the same for all. We give the date, the symbol, the strategy, whether we're trading stocks or options, the technical setup. We teach and show the technical reason of why we give suggestions, not just do what I say. We're, we're providing education al along the way. And so this is a closed trade. We bought the stock here. Here's a technical setup, a bullish one, two, three continuation on support and the 20, 200 period moving average on earnings. So this was a bullish one, two, three setup into earnings announced the following morning. Could we have done an anticipatory bullish option trade the, the night prior to earnings based on the setup? Without a doubt, without a doubt we could have. But the options were actually uh, too illiquid for us to do that. So we waited for the next day. Now the next day, notice how it gapped down a little bit into this red bar, the tail. I'm going to show you on the next chart. But if it trades over this red bar's high, the one, two, three continuation triggered. And I have a price void to manage in between. This is a 15 minute chart of the same ZTO. So it's a micro, microscope of the daily chart. These vertical dotted lines represent one day of a daily candle. Here is my 15 minute chart, which is this red bar. Into earnings on March 16th, notice that it opened relatively flat. Closed here, open here. This red dot shows the movement of the day after earnings. It quickly whipped down at the open and then closed with a bullish igniting wide range bar on the 15 minute chart. That is a plus because this downside move and immediate snap back is what we call a downside shakeout or, or a breakdown failure on the 15 minute chart. So when I saw that, and it actually trades under the prior bar's low of this bullish one, two, three continuation, that creates this bullish downside shakeout provided it trades over the prior bar's high, which it did. And so I sent in Telegram as this bar was being formed, I said, this chart is a total green light go if it trades over this bar's high, which it obviously did. So now we're long, stop into the day's low, manage in between. Whether you are a day trader or we gave it to our subscribers as a swing trade because of the big price void that I just showed you right here. But there's nothing wrong with taking this bullish trade as a day trade. Your management rules would change, they'd be different. But notice this bullish price action. It ignite. This is a morning powerful move up, as you can see with this daily bar right here. This is what we call bullish time consolidation above the 20 period moving average. And we were banishing off this daily chart. So it had such a powerful move up. We, we like to sell into strength and trail stops. So we, we sold into three different levels here. It gapped up on this particular day right here, you know, the day following that we entered and into the morning strength, which here's my daily chart into morning strength. It's just in an area of significant resistance. You could have trailed under just a prior bars low, which would have been totally acceptable. But because the market, the, the broader markets and the internals were very questionable, we just said, you know what, just selling the strength here at 28.94, you know, pretty darn near the top of this bar. And we booked a generous 12% return in two days. Hope that helped. Check us out at mastertrader.com. If you want to learn how to trade our technical based approach, we obviously have stock and option seminars that teach you exactly that. 
But if you'd like to be delivered beautiful stock and option trade ideas through Telegram in real time, this is where we posted this particular trade. Go to mastertrader.com forward slash advisory swing and we give all types of stock and option trades. Hope you enjoy that. As always, email me, dan at mastertrader.com, my partner, greg at mastertrader.com. Look forward to seeing you in the next trade review video.